Let us look at joint demos next. So joints are a rather advanced topic with a lot of detail and we can't hope to cover all of that in this brief tutorial series, but I'm going to try to give an overview of everything that is possible. Perhaps the first and simplest joint demo to start with is this prismatic joint one, so let's load that. Here you can see there is a static body, the red one, and a dynamic body coupled together with a joint, and the joint is uh, shown with this visualization billboard. If I click it, the prismatic joint here is selected. So the prismatic joint is one of a number of joint types, as you can see, there is a prim for it in the stage. Let's see what this does if I press play. So the prismatic joint is like a slider joint. It will slide back and forth, and I can also, you know, make it um, slide by grabbing the dynamic part as part of its motion. The Revolute joint is a different example with a different kind of motion. You can see it's a different type of prim. Here it says prismatic joint. And uh, the motion range, you can already see it's indicated that it's going to rotate around this X axis of the frame, down 90 degrees and up 90 degrees. Uh, and it looks like it's also powered, so you can you can make the joint have a so-called drive that's like a motor and uh, that's going to make it basically become actuate. So let's, uh, let's look at the properties here. What do we have? All of the joints are between two bodies. So that's, you have to have two prims. One of them uh, can actually be um, empty if you just want to um, joint it to the world, um, or, or it can be a static object, or it can be two dynamic bodies. So that's box zero and box one over here. The joint typically has a frame, which uh, basically shows um, a coordinate axis relative to which you can then define certain properties, like in this case, the axis of rotation, which is over here, the revolute joint. Uh, you can see that joints have a number of shared properties that are common for all joints and then some properties that are specific to the particular joint type, in this case Revolute. So Revolute will rotate around the red x-axis and you can see the motion range here. It can go from minus 90 to plus 90 degrees. These are always specified in degrees and not, for example, radians. And then here you have the drive component. You can have multiple kinds of drives. So you can have a force or an acceleration drive. Of course, the difference is that a force drive will, um, you know, apply a certain force um, that will have a, a faster or slower action depending on the mass. An acceleration drive will basically ignore the mass of the objects. You can set a target position to move to or that it should maintain a certain target velocity. And then the stiffness parameter will effectively drive toward the position and the damping parameter will be the strength of driving toward the target velocity. So let's remove the drive for a moment so that uh, it will just fall according to gravity, but still hit the motion limit. Now, if we also get rid of the motion limits, you see now suddenly it will unlock the full circle of movement and it can rotate all the way around. Another interesting aspect is that when you join together two things, it automatically filters the collision between those two bodies. If you don't want that to happen, then there is a checkbox uh, collision enabled that you can activate and then now it will actually bump up against that other object. So you might be wondering how you can create a joint like this yourself. So let's delete this joint and uh, try to recreate it. The easiest way is to select the two things that you want to join together. And then you can do create physics joint and then select the kind of joint you want to create. So this was a revolute joint. Let's just recreate that. You can see the frame is created by default at the origin of one of these objects. That will already make a working joint, but you can see now the point of rotation is over here. 
that's not what we wanted. Uh, so we can just reposition the frame of the joint here. You can see that the frame is actually stored as two relative frames. This uh, frame is not stored in the space relative to the world. Uh, it's there's to two copies of it, basically. One copy is relative to one body and the other copy uh, is relative to the other body. This is so that the joint can become detached and separated. I will show that as part of a different demo. But now when we play this, you can see that we have the original behavior back. If you also want to add back the drive, which will power the joint, you can do physics, add, and then 